In this video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule a post onto Facebook circa the new interface that came to us at the end of 2020. By the way, my name is Desiree and on this channel, we help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. Now, before we dive into this, remember the most important thing that you could ever do for your Facebook business page is have a really clear content marketing plan so that you know everything that's supposed to be happening on your Facebook page is happening for a very specific reason. So go grab my free content planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description below. All right, now let's head over to the computer where I'm gonna show you how to schedule your post with Facebook Creator Studio. Now, previously, when you're trying to schedule your post natively to Facebook, you would would go into here and and type in your message and you would have a like a scheduling situation and as you can see post scheduling and additional options are available in publishing tools well now as you saw when I just went to publishing tools it takes me in here and it's basically trying to force you over into creator studio so rather than try and go through this whole problem process just go straight into creator studio you can find creator studio at the link that you see right up here I have a whole tutorial that you can see in the cards right now. That's a walkthrough of how Creator Studio works and what it looks like. But for our purposes, I'm just going to go straight into creating a post and scheduling it. Uh, first things first, you need to select your page. So you go here to this pull down and because I am a manager of a lot of people's Facebook pages because of our agency services, um, it takes a little bit to select, but you should have yours a little bit easier. So you select your page and you go up here to create a story or you can go here to post something and this same exact thing will come up. Now, because I am a content manager, I try really hard to make sure that I have my content plan. So I'm just going to copy my message and put this right here into the what's on my mind. Right. And then I'm going to hit, I'm going to go share my photo because I think posts should have photos. Okay. Here's my photo. Here's my message. Okay. Whatever you're trying to do, whether it's just a photo, a photo or um, if you're trying to do like a tag, if you're trying to do a poll, whatever it is, this is where you're at. So you're going to go down here at the bottom. You're going to see boost post share now, uh, share now with this whole clock or the blue share now button. I want you to hit the middle one that says share now with the clock and you're going to hit schedule. Okay. So you're going to pick the day that you want it to go up and you're going to pick the time that you want it to go up and it's going to be set to your time zone that your computer is registered at. So because I'm in Arizona, this is my uh, time zone and um, so and that's what I'm setting it to do. And then of course, stop newsfeed distribution. So this, so for stop newsfeed distribution, this is basically if you have a post that is time sensitive. So like maybe you want to post something that's only going to be up for a week, like a sale or something, you can select this and then you pick its end date. Okay. I do not have an end date for this post. So I'm just going to hit schedule and I'm going to go down here to the blue schedule post. And as you can see, successfully, you can view your posts in your content library. So let's go up here to our content library, go over to the scheduled tab, and you can see our post is scheduled to go up. Once it posts, it will go into all published or into all posts. If you're wanting to know more about what Facebook Creator Studio is capable of, you're gonna watch this video I have for you right here because it's gonna be really helpful and detailed for you and walk you through everything step by step. And you're gonna watch this video right here because YouTube thinks that you're really gonna like it. And until next time, I'll see you soon.